My name is Cooper and I own a video game store. And sometimes, unfortunately, things happen, like what happened today, and we accidentally destroyed a customer's $50 PS1 game. Mm. See that indent on there? This game is garbage. We're gonna talk about this later and hopefully give you guys some tips to prevent this from ever happening if you own a resurfacing machine. What up peeps? Welcome back. Hello. This morning we are pulling some orders as always and I do have another mystery box to pull from Christopher. So Christopher, if you're watching, you don't want it spoiled. You're gonna wanna shut it off, but we have a $200 box once again. They want PS1, PS2, PS3, PS4, Switch, N64, GBA, and 3DS. They want quality games. Um, missing manual is okay. Please no loose cartridges or missing cases. And they want no sports, racing games, educational, or children's games like Barbie, Hannah Montana, etc. So we're going to pull this thing, and it's going to be awesome. Right, Colton? This is your last chance, Christopher, if you don't want it spoiled. PS1, PS2, PS3, PS4 was first on his list. So of course, we're starting at the PlayStation cabinet. What do we have? What do we have? This is only a $200 box, so gotta give them some good variety. They do want PS3. We'll start we with Monster give, Rancher. We should give them this, because it's kind of rare. Uh, Collector's edition version. Collector's edition version. He plays Harry. You don't see that one as often. Who's Harry? Oh, he's a whole problem. Big problem. Okay, he can get this one. <laughs> We're at eighty dollars already. Oh, you know what? We got to give him Revenge of the Bird King. This extremely rare game that everyone wanted, and it was like five hundred dollars, and now it's worth very, not very much. He also had N64 on the list, and I'm trying to give him some good variety here. So, what? I almost wanted to pick Mortal Kombat, uh, Mortal Kombat Mythology Sub-Zero, but that game's horrible. How about Glover? Now this game is awesome. And you know we gotta throw some Switch in there. Minecraft Legends is a very fun game. Um, but that's... Why are these even on here? They're $40. Those should not be on the... <laughs> Those should definitely not be on the sales floor. They should be on that wall. I try to do like 30 bucks and under out here. For the new ones, at least. Um, Boulder Dash? Mm, Boulder Dash. So I just realized it said... We ask, are games missing manuals or cases okay? Are loose cartridges okay? They said missing manuals is okay. Please no loose cartridges or missing cases. I wonder if they meant for N64 too? Because normally people are okay with like loose cart for that kind of stuff and GBA. So we might have to contact them and ask just to verify. Otherwise I'll have to take the Glover out and figure out something else. So. Abby is going to email him and verify if loose cartridges for 64 and GBA is okay. Um, there was no phone number on his thing, so we have to send him an email. And so we're going to do that. I'm going to pull the order as normal with the loose cartridge stuff. And then if they're not okay with it, I'll swap them out later. But let's keep going for now. Because loose games for GBA should be fine, but I get not wanting loose 3DS games because they're, you know, the plastic cases are so easy to hold on to, but the boxes, not so much. But we got to give them a crash. And what else? How about Zelda Four Swords? Everybody complained last time that I picked Butt Ugly Martians over Devil May Cry, so this one will go to this other customer. And we need a little bit more to kind of fill out the end here. How about, well, obviously Skyrim is a good one. I know he said no manual is fine, but we're going to give him a complete one anyway. And Abby loves this game, Kingdoms of Amalur. Re-Reckoning? Well, that's just Reckoning. She played the Re-Reckoning version. <laughs> And let's give another PS2 game because we didn't have too much in there for PS2. Hmm. How about, how about, um, 
How about? Um, there really isn't too much. Ah, Dynasty Warriors 4. We'll give them a Bobby game. So until we hear back and either, you know, verify that he does want these cartridges or not, this will be the mystery box. This is about 226 value for the $200 price. So Christopher, I hope that you enjoy. By now, most of you guys should have gotten your Luigi's Mansion pre-order um, with the, you know, the custom cover art and slipcover. And I wanted to remind you guys, if you could, please post it wherever you can and just let people know that you got it from Double Jump. I would love to get more eyes on these like special pre-order things that we're doing so that we can do more. The more pre-orders we get, the easier it is to do them because, you know, we don't make very much on a new game. So if we only sell five copies, it's hard to want to put in all this extra work. But for Luigi's Mansion, for example, selling about 90 copies um, on pre-order, that makes it worth it. So the more eyes we can get, the better. So if you can, just please post um, your Luigi's Mansion thing wherever, Reddit, Facebook, in groups, whatever it is, and just let everyone know that you got it from Double Jump and it would be a huge help. And thank you guys so much. What you doing with all these? I'm just trying to complete some things. Oh yeah? <laughs> Checking to see if we have cases on the shelf that need manuals. Yeah, so we check to see if anything needs manuals and then we check our back stock ones to see if we can complete just any case on these. Nice. You're onto PS3? Yeah, I've done, well, I and Colton did DS, 3DS. Um, we've done... I know you did PS1. PS1, Dreamcast, and we've done GameCube. Nice. No, Have busy. you completed a lot of games? Um, probably about like 20 or so. And then Dang. for like just like case only stuff, I've completed like upwards of 100 and just stuck the manuals in the cases. Dang. So these are empty cases we have on the shelf back there yeah. that didn't have manuals. Yeah. That's very good. So, so when the disc only copy comes in, instead of making it disc in case, we're making it fully complete. You got it, dude. Heck yeah. <laughs> Any rare manuals? Um, for... For 3DS, there's some like rare stuff and DS as well. Um, and then, like, not really for PS3 or yeah. anything, mostly like GameCube. We have like a Geist manual and stuff. Nice. Um, but yeah. Very cool. Super cool. Colton, what's all this? That's a trade in. Oh. Look. Da -da -da -da. I know you love those Transformers. I do like Transformers a lot. Very cool. And we got a Game Boy with some cool titles there. And a bunch of cool cartoon Beautiful. Games. And also, Factory Sealed, Ocarina of Time Master Quest, and Twilight Princess. These were listed on our eBay, but a guy contacted me and he's like, hey, I'm also in Vancouver. Can I, do you have a store? And I said, yes. He came in, he's going to be picking these two up, um, which is cool. We don't have to pay eBay fees on them. <laughs> and so, giving him a good deal since he's bringing cash. We are doing, I think, $3.90 for both. So very, very happy that these have finally found a home. So this is probably what you guys are all here for. Let's talk about this disc. You can see that is an indent. And just in case you want to know which game we destroyed, it's Brave Fencer Musashi, which is terrible because the cheapest one on eBay is like 40 or 50 bucks. And of course, we are going to be replacing this for the customer. This is not the customer's fault. This is our fault. And uh, so, you know, we're, we're losing some money here, but that's fine. But let me show you guys what caused this and what to look out for. So in our bathroom here, we have the RTI Eco Auto Master. This is a top of the line machine, I think new. These are something like $25,000. We bought this one refurbished a couple years ago from, I believe, discmagic.net. Um, and I think they're kind of just like a subsidiary of ELM. So it's like officially refurbished and everything. And I think we paid something like 12,000 for it, maybe 10,000, something like that. It's a very high end machine. They also have some more affordable models, which we also have um, the Auto Smart. Um, you can get those refurbished for about three to 5,000. But let me show you guys the issue with this machine in particular. So if you have one of these, this is something that you need to be aware of because until this started happening, I had no idea this was a problem. And I actually just got off the phone with ELM to order this replacement part, which I never have heard about replacing, didn't know you needed to replace it. And it's a $25 part. So if you have one of these machines, I would highly recommend you just buy a couple extra We've had this machine for a couple years and this is the first time we've ever had to replace it. So it's not something that you'll do very often, but when it needs to be replaced, 
you get a disc with a freaking dent in it, you want to replace it right away. And that is this little piece right here, which they call the center pin. So when you have a disc that's coming to get resurfaced, it holds right here. And then this part, this is the splash guard. This goes around to kind of keep all the water inside. And this part right here is a little hexagon shape that fits right into there and spins the whole platform. Over time, because this is metal and that is plastic, this thing kind of gets rounded out, gets worn down. So what happens is this thing, this is spinning, but this is not. And the pad, which it was this one here, you can see it got all destroyed. It pushes down on the disc right there and basically just burns it and indents it. So this game is garbage. We have to pay about 40, 40 or 50 bucks to replace that. And then the new pin is $25 and we're having it overnighted, which is another $61. So if you have a game store, if you have one of these machines, or if you're planning on getting one, this is something you definitely want to be aware of because like I said, until today, I was not. And it is costing us a lot of money for one game. Very, very unfortunate, but obviously we're gonna take care of the customer and that's our current, that's our only machine right now that is currently working. Our other one is being sent in for repair. So we can't resurface anything until that center pin gets in here, hopefully tomorrow. So next weekend, weekend of the 18th, Colton and I are going, going to be vending at a convention up in Everett, Washington called Geek Fest. We have not done this one before. Geek Fest West. Geek Fest West. But it sounds like this is going to be a pretty big event. It, it, it sounds absolutely massive it's gonna be like three blocks just totally blocked off and three days as well yeah with like vendor hall cosplay stuff there's like some sort of musical or play that's there's like star trek buildings. themed seven buildings worth yeah. of stuff there's like a film festival as part of it like yeah it's gonna be pretty cool it's not just video games obviously it's just kind of like everything pop culture and, and nerdy they said it's a it is akin to like uh, Woodstock, but for pop culture stuff. <laughs> so if you live up around the Seattle area, um, you guys can come and say hello. It's just going to be Colton and I. We have... Signature is $20. <laughs> we, have, <laughs> we have a four-table booth, um, but it sounds like they're like the big eight-foot tables. And it would have it's big enough to hold six tables, but we're up against a wall. So booth E20, if you guys are looking out. But it's going to be a fun time. And uh, yeah, hopefully we see some of you guys there. We're heading out for the night. See you guys in the morning.